Hello, I'm Pliskit, and this is my content, and today I am doing something very weird and cool. So, uh, apparently you can play Jack and Dexter natively on the PC now, which is pretty badass. It's uh, thanks to this uh, project called Open Goal. Apparently, Goal was a um, essentially a... Com uh, a language, a uh, programming language and compiler or something uh, that a Naughty Dog used to make um, most of uh, the code for Jack and Daxter and um, apparently the other Jack and Daxter games that they worked on. And some people were able to create their own e-compiler. So all you need is the ISO for Jack and Daxter. You run this uh, program. Um, I had to get it from source. Um, well, in fact, that's kind of the only way to get it right now. Um, so I'm pretty excited. This is the first time I've ever successfully um, compiled a program from uh, from source. And it only took me like about an hour or so. Because it, it's, it was kind of... Uh, I'm not used to it. I've never done it before. Well, I have done it before, but this is the first time I actually worked, and I, I don't know much of what I'm doing, but it's all good. So first, I'm going to go ahead and just show the game actually running. Now all I have to do is um, ask. Uh, boot game. And... There we go. And it is working. It has full controller support right out of the box. And you might be wondering why am I out here? Well, that's just how the game starts. You can um, go into options. And if you quit the game, you can basically start from the actual title screen of the game. Or you can go ahead and load uh, saved game and holy crap this runs awesome <laughs> uh actually the other week i was playing jack and daxter using the um playstation 3 emulator was it the r36 whatever it's called and uh and it was running pretty good until i actually got into like the open open world part of the which is like right after this part of the game Should probably turn that down just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't sound like crap. Oh, that's right, you gotta do that. So, and other than just playing really well, uh, I am having some um V-Sync issues, but that's been happening a lot because I'm running um you know, a, a Linux distro with um a NVIDIA card, so it doesn't always work. But yes, there's tons of options that you would expect from you know kind of a pc release uh, you can change the resolution you, know, you got your different display modes i'm not going to mess with all that because i don't want it to screw up the recording um these things i can hell i can even turn that off Oop. let's see what happens oh my god Oh yeah, start. Okay. Oh, now it's running like crap. I gotta put on these things to make it so it doesn't it's not running crappy, it's running glitchy as hail. But uh so when you're not in full screen mode, you well I, you you can screw around with some of the uh the debugging stuff i don't know anything about that crap <laughs> i'm just here to play the game apparently the entire game is uh playable from beginning to end um so I, I, I might do that it's been a long time since i've actually sat down and played this game uh, let's go ahead and do window and so yeah there's a bunch of different stuff 
to screw around with a little bit. Um, but reboot. But yeah, this is really cool. Um, at first, I was thinking like, oh hell, might be able to do like any PS2 game, or at least eventually get to the point where we can decompile every PS2 game. But uh, it's it looks like it's only going to work on Naughty Dog games, especially uh, more specifically the Jax games, which is basically what they made uh, during that time period. Um, so I, I'm not going to do go through the whole thing here because it, I'll just do that as a separate video. I don't really have time to do all that at the moment. If somebody wants to know how to, you know, um, you know, compile all this from source and get the game running, uh, I, I'll make a video about it. Uh, but you know, other than that, you know, this video is over.